five six touchdowns today five on the ground just talk about the performance today man you, you, you it seems like as the week's getting lo longer last time i seen you you put up a, 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 a ex excellent performance against glenville to show you know that avon is one of the top schools in division two today man you played a tough Olmstead fall school a rival within your conference and you just dominated man so just talk about the overall game um first of all i just want to say that uh kudos to my coaches and my teammates for um you know setting up some of the big plays that we had um <clears throat> the trust that we have in each other and our coaching staff is uh, second to none um you know obviously five rushing touchdowns is a little abnormal from a quarterback but you know um Homestead Falls played great defense in their secondary. They really did not want to let us throw it over their heads, which uh, I think we showed tonight that we can get it done both through the air and uh, on the ground. So um, it was a great team win. Man, earlier in the first half, you know, you lost well, you lost your center. But right after that, man, number four, Lance, came out with a with an energizing play, a boom on special teams to give you guys the ball back. Just talk about, you know, how locked in, you know, the whole team was. Defense was locked in. You know, I noticed at Olmstead Falls, they run more of like a, a spread out, a triple option, like, you know, kind of offense. Yeah. And you guys went and fall for it. So just talk about, you know, not only how well the offense was, but just the defense and the special teams, how locked in they were tonight. Um, so first of all, Connor Bingham going down is a big, big loss. It's my best friend on and off the field. Been friends with him since we were little. Um, so when he went down, and uh, he's one of the toughest kids I know, and when you, you could tell he was in pain, so it wasn't looking good. But um, we, as a team, flipped the, flipped the switch, and that one was for him. Um, but playing a team like Falls in the offense that they run, uh, the whole week our defense did a great job preparing for them. Um, if you don't lift weights in the off season and you play a team like Falls who's big and physical, you'll get beat. So uh, I think we uh, we did a good job this off season, gaining weight, gaining muscle, and um, kudos to Coach Schetti. Do you think a win like this, you know, puts y'all on notice in Division Two, where you got teams you got you potentially could face like Maslin, you know? There, uh, I'm trying to think of some other Division Two team. Uh, Hoban. Oh, yeah. Hoban. Yeah. How can I forget Hoban? Oh, good. Maslin, Hoban, yeah. teams of that nature, man. Do you think a, a win like this, where you got, like I said, you got a win over over Glenville, you got a win over Olmstead Falls, yeah. you got your rivals up the street, Avon Lake coming soon. Yep. A win like this, how does it prepare? How does it show that the Avon Eagles is real when it comes to Division II football? Um, stacking wins each and every week. After one week goes by, the next is up. And um, anytime you play a team in the SWC Conference, it's a big, big game. doesn't matter what their record is. Um, you have to take it as serious as possible. And so they are a great team. Um, it, it, stacking wins, it just, they build on top of each other. They build chemistry, it builds confidence. And um, I think we can make a run in the playoffs. Man, appreciate it, yeah. Nolan, man. Great game from you today. Yep. We'll be seeing more from you in the next few weeks appreciate as we head, it. as we're getting on the countdown to playoff football. Yep, thank you. I'm almost there for yes, Todd. You showed, you showed me a little Donovan Peoples Jones out there today, on, man. man, with that 75 yard return. First of all, Todd, how'd you get caught, man? Talk to us, man. All right, so coming into the game, I, I was planning on hydrating. I started the week a little late, but we got through first quarter, felt good. I was going down, I was running, then my calf, I felt my calf tighten up, but I was like, this isn't gonna stop me. So I was going, 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 then I see three guys. I was debating on a cutback. I was like, I'm gonna get the yards I can get out of bounds, put my team in a great position to keep the game going and score that. And that's what that's exactly what happened. Man, you and Lance today were like the leaders of the, the special teams. Yes, you had the big return. He had the big, he had the big uh, forced fumble. Yep. You know, just talk about, you know, we see what Nolan did today. Five, six touchdowns, five on the ground. But just talk about how well special teams kind of just led the way to get you guys that done you know, today. Special teams is what we pre we preach and practice it all the time at practice. It's it's our standard. We we go into the games knowing special teams is going to get us out of this game. We can't base we can't rely it on offense defense, even though both of them are really good this year. But you know special teams we ate up out there. Punt we got off to a little rough start. We went in at halftime, we fixed it up, we talked to the coaches, and everything went good from there. Man, Ty, it must feel good to you know, get a win like this, man. Last question. What do a win like this kind of say about Avon? You know, I mean, Division II is football. You know, you got Hoban, you got Maslin, you got other juggernauts in, in Division II like you. What does this What does this say? What does a win like this say over a good Olmstead Falls team? Well, I feel like in the SWC, it's always a competition. It's always physical teams coming out. They're always known to be 
physical team, but we're always going to be over them. The way we train in the weight room, the way we train off season, and the overall, we came in knowing we were going to have to out physical them. And I think our defense put on a show to you know show show everyone, show the SWC, show the state, show the region how physical we really can be and how we can really prove a point on who we are this year. Man, them, hey, you guys out here in Avon is definitely physical and definitely match up in them trenches, man. Congratulations again on this big Thank time you. win today. We're on the road to the playoffs, man. We'll be course, seeing more of you here of in the course. future. Big fellas, y'all yep. dominated today, man. Talk about, talk about you know, the trenches, man. You lost your center today, yep. but that, that really didn't stop you guys from leading the way for Nolan to get five yep. rushing touchdowns, five touchdowns yep. from a quarterback. You don't see that nowadays, yep. man. So just talk about how that trench work was today. Uh, you know, they're called the, the most physical group in the conference. So we kind of want to make this a statement that we think we're the most physical group. And just up front, we kind of dominated the whole game, just getting moving right off the line, opening the holes for JC, and then, you know, Nolan taking advantage of them crashing super hard. He's just a really smart QB, and a losing Connor, it's a big loss. I mean, me, Matt, and Connor are like probably the three closest kids on the team. So him going down and seeing his emotions through it hurt us pretty bad, but after that, there was kind of no stopping us. We were going full steam ahead. Man, that next play, man, Lance came out, gave you guys some a big Joe to energy yeah. with that. Man, he rocked buddy on that yeah. on that kick return, man. So do you think do you think that that's when the turning point was when definitely. you guys I starting mean, to feel that energy? And, yeah, definitely. I mean that that was a very hype hit. We weren't expecting it. I mean, I make fun of Lance for not being able to tackle a lot. <laughs> but uh tonight I think he proved me wrong. I mean, that, that, that was a big hit. I, I kind of, kind of tracked him all the way down the field, and when I saw it, I was like, who was that? And then I got up, it was Lance. I'm like, oh, oh, okay. So, yeah, no, that definitely uh, gave us a boost of energy we needed. Man, you guys are in one of the hottest divisions this year, D2. Teams like Maslin, teams like Hoven. You know, just talk about, you know, how well, you know, as, as being one of the leaders, how you guys are preparing week by week as the playoffs are around the corner, you know, for this gauntlet, for this yeah. gauntlet division that you guys are in. Yeah, I mean, of course, we want to win the SWC. That's kind of our first goal. But then, you know, going through playoffs, running into teams like Hoban or Massa, I mean, those are big name schools. And us to just be in that, just in that, it's, it's pretty cool. But we know we got to train harder and harder every day because they're training hard. So we got to be ready for anything. And I mean, we'd love to run into Hoban again. We, we think this is the year we could get over that hump. So we're really excited. Man, Michigan play Rutgers tomorrow. Yep. Is that a challenge for Michigan, or you think that's going to be kind of a they're going to walk away with an easy dub tomorrow? If they play their ball like they're like they're known to do, it'll be a blowout. All right, now, man. If they have a little fumble, it'll be a little closer, a little bit. Then we'll we'll walk away with it. All right, man. I appreciate yep. you, man. I gotta say one last thing. Yep. Go Bucks, man. Go Blue. Oh man. Go Blue, baby. <laughs> All the way. All right, man. We're gonna see you in a few weeks, man. Luke, appreciate you. Of course. Um, and Nolan just keeps uh, racking up the games. Uh, five rushing touchdowns today. I don't remember the last time uh, I saw a player score five times in one game, but that's amazing and also a uh, passing touchdown in the second half. I didn't realize he had five, to be honest with you. Like, we call plays, and I don't really count who gets in, but wow, that's pretty impressive. Uh, he's a dual threat guy, like we said, and tonight when things weren't going real well early on, tempo was our friend, and then obviously it's Nolan's legs when people want to key on Ja'Cory and Caffey, they're going to realize that they got to defend two guys. Of course, you're talking about when things weren't maybe necessarily going as well in the, you know, the first half, tied at 10 there near the end. You get two or three quick scores to go into halftime with that momentum. What, what maybe changed at that point? Was there anything you told your guys or just something something sparked? No, I mean, we, we dropped some balls. There were some incompletions and things we got in the way of. We missed a smoke screen, so we weren't, you know, we ended in plays without making them tackle us. And the, and the game plan going in was to make them stop the run and um, take what they give us because they were playing off coverage and we got away from that you know we didn't commit we didn't hit some of these hitches we dropped the hitch got us out of one we missed the smoke screen so it was us getting away of ourselves uh but we got to clean that up uh, and more importantly you know i just want to continue to talk about our defense homestead falls is a really good offense it's tough to defend that and the physicality of our defense and the emotion and energy they play with is pretty impressive you talk about the feast or famine uh, special team swing um obviously uh, the miscue or the whatever happened there with the knee on the ground on the punt uh, thing led to a Olsen Fuzz touchdown and then Kaufman answers with a 77-yard uh, kickoff return. Yeah, it seems to be the, the narrative is that we've made some really big plays on special teams, but we've also given up some ones that will get us beat. And so, quite frankly, I'm disappointed. You know, we had a punt that went about seven yards uh, earlier in the game. Then we took a knee there. we got to fix that. I mean, it's not good. And um, 
I take the blame for that as head coach, and we got to get better. Coach, while, while there may have been a few special team miscues, you had one play where Lance you know, got the ball back for you guys when he hit uh, the Olmstead Falls, or returned it for a big play. How, you know, just how impressed were you just on that play? How you, you know the team rallied around you had just lost the old lineman and – you know, everybody just things just came together on that play. Yeah, I mean, we, we you know, obviously our center, we, we got to see how he is. Uh, it's an unfortunate injury, but you know, our guys will keep playing regardless. That's what they're conditioned to do, and they're invested. They they spend a lot of time at this thing. Our coaches do, and so you know, when it was tight early on, I there was no there was nobody you know nervous or, or we just needed to settle in, and so you do it one play at a time, and you gain that momentum back. And what you mentioned was a big play to do that.